Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, this is Rico. I was thinking about a hypothetical trade involving Cooper and Brandon Ayuk. Even though I really like Cooper and what he stands for, his abilities on the field, and his very low-maintenance personality, I would still execute that trade. Browns would have their wide receiver core for like at least the next three to four years. But my question is, what would it cost the Browns to acquire IU? I know it will cost Cooper, but what kind of draft compensation would have to be added? And what kind of contract would IU demand from the Browns? How would he fit into this offense? Thanks. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Let's welcome in Jacob Roach from BrownsWire.com and the Barking Browns podcast. So, Jacob, I would guess, um, I said this earlier, I think it probably costs you Cooper in a number one. And then you probably got to give them something north of thirty million a year for three, probably four years. And I still might do it. <laughs> right, that's the funny part because a lot of times when you get into the hypothetical trade scenarios like this, you're like, ah, after all of that, I don't know if I want to do that. But man, Brandon Ayuk is that good. I'm with you on you know Cooper. I, I think the starting point's definitely a second round pick. I think that's the minimum that has to go with Amari Cooper. And I agree with you. I'm kind of tending to lean towards it needing to be a day one pick. Um, one thing that could happen with the Ayuk trade, there could end up being kind of like a betting war. I mean, you know, they've talked about the commanders and the Steelers and things like that, that are other guys that are kind of interested and probably could make room for Ayuk. And if that happens, uh, you know, if you're throwing in Cooper and a one and something else, I might be out on that because that's kind of getting a little rich. But at the same time, like he's 26. He is as good of a route runner as Amari Cooper. I know people want to talk about that sort of stuff. And I think he is very close to that. I think he's right up there. Um, he fits into any offense. I just think that this is a dude that was like a borderline all pro player in a run first offense. And, you know, I talked to Casey Kinnaman on the show a couple of nights ago, and and we we kind of pointed out, like, he wasn't there when he first came into the league. It took Ayuk a little bit of time to get going. But he's kind of worked his way there where he is a top-of-flight, top-five wide receiver. And anytime you're going to try to get a top-five player at a position, it's going to cost you a lot, but it's going to be worth it. You talk about that contract, I do not see it being anywhere south of $30 million a year. I mean – uh, Jefferson got 35 and uh, 30. I think AJ Brown had 32. That's probably the starting point is somewhere around that 32 million, 35 range. Um, Ayuk's up there with those guys in talent. So that's definitely what he's going to uh, demand on the market. But again, though I might be weary if it takes more than Cooper in a first round pick, at the same time, Ayuk on this team for the next four, five, six years. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> might be worth it all. So, so the stat that, that we had when we were talking about this earlier, 61 of his 75 receptions last year, it's 80%, went for either a first down or a touchdown. It's by far, that's by far the best in the NFL.